Hey, it's me. Oh, you don't know my name yet? I'm sorry. I'm the new teacher here at Excel English, and my name is Patrick. <laughs> well, how are you today? I hope you're doing fine and ready to listen to a new lesson. Well, to start things off, let's begin with nouns. Nouns or meishi is a really important English topic because it names persons, places, things, events, food, plants, and anything else. And everything has a name. You do know that a person has a name, something has a name, of course a place has a name. That is why nouns are naming words. But we can also divide or group these nouns into two. We can call them common or proper. Common nouns are things or any other nouns that only has a general name. For example, car is a name of something that you ride or train or bicycle, but it doesn't have a special name. While proper nouns are names of things, of places, of persons that have a specific name. So when you say specific, that means it has a special name. For example, Toshiba or Patrick or Disneyland. Well, let's not get confused. It's rather simple. <laughs> So basically, a naming word that is general is a common noun, while a naming word that is specific is a proper noun. Let's have one example. I know you know what this is, but the common noun for this is a phone. But you can see the name. So, the naming word for this phone as a proper noun is Samsung. Let's have another one. So, let me show you this. Well, I think you also know what this is called. This thing, as a common noun, is called a watch. But if you can see the name it also has a proper noun then this should be called Casio <laughs> let's have one final example this is a hand cream and it sounds like a common noun it doesn't have a specific name it only has a general name hand cream but if you can see the special name of this hand cream, it says Johnson's. So that means Johnson's is a proper noun. So let's practice. I will show you three things and you need to give their names. <laughs> the common and proper ones. <laughs> let's start with this one. So, what is its common name? What about its proper name? Right, next one. What is the common noun for this one? Okay, what about proper? All right, last one. <laughs> Now, give me the common noun for this thing. Well, what about proper noun? Look. Well, let's check your answers. For our first thing, if you answered this as your common noun and this as your proper noun, then you got it right. For the second one, if you answer this as your common noun and this as your proper noun, then 
You were also correct. <laughs> For our third thing, if you answered this as a common noun and this as a proper noun, then congratulations, you got it right. Well, that just about wraps it up. And if you still want to learn more about common and proper nouns, don't forget to join this. All right, well, that's it for our time today. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And also, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. All of the links will be posted on the description below. Have a blast. See you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.